In today's video, let's talk about AI detection tools and how to beat AI detection tools. So this has been a pretty hot topic recently. I wanted to talk about a few tools that are able to detect whether some writing was written by a human or written by an AI. I'll go through a few of those. I'll also go through some paraphrasing tools, which will let you take your text and reword that text or paraphrase the text in a way that it becomes unclear whether it was written by a human or written by an AI, so it can pass these AI detection tests. So before we get to that, let's talk about why you'd want to be an AI detection or why would you want to use an AI detection? So probably school teachers and university staff, that's the obvious um, thing that comes to mind. They want to check that their uh, assignments have been written by students, not by AIs. There may also be managers or content marketers sourcing articles from freelance writers. They want to check that they're getting a genuine human written article rather than an, an AI written article, for example. There are also maybe a few of you who are worried about uh, Google using AI as a ranking factor. Maybe they're going to rank human articles higher than AI written articles. I don't think that's true. I'm going to show you why I think that's true in just a second. Um, so let's get into the video. Let's get the Google ranking issue out of the way straight away. We've got Danny Sullivan from Google search saying straight up front, we have not said AI content is bad. Um, pretty clearly content written for primarily for search engines rather than humans is the issue. That's what we've focused on. If someone fires up 100 humans to write just to rank or fires up a spinner or AI, it's the same issue. So throughout Google's history, they've been trying to um, uh, fight against tech spinners or low quality human writers, um, just generating bulk useless content. They want helpful content. Um, I've got the stats from my own blog here. I've been using AI writers for well over a year now. My blog has continued to grow solidly over that year. So I'm obviously not being penalized for using an AI writer, and I don't expect you would be penalized either as long as you are demonstrating your own experience. If you are editing and paraphrasing to make sure it is as helpful as possible. Adding things like your own photography, your own videos, um, your own data, your own charts, those things are gonna be much more um, important than worrying about whether it was written by um, an AI tool or not. Another great example I saw was from Future Tools IO. This is another website that uses a lot of AI generated content. Their Google traffic is very high as well. So 75K uh, users a month there. Um, AI content is working just fine for them as well. So I don't think AI, Google is penalizing AI generated content at all, um, as we can see from the data. But having said that, we need to be clear, you can't just sign up for Jasper or Word Hero, pump out thousand word articles of pure AI stuff that you have no experience, no authority. Um, people don't trust you in that, in that niche. That stuff's not going to rank. You need to be able to offer original value and genuinely help people in ways that they can't easily get from other established um, sources. So you have to be an authority in the field to get those high rankings, especially when it's competitive. So it's not a solution that's just going to um, give you free traffic. So just keep that in mind. So with that out of the way, let's go and check out an example. So on my own blog, I've got this um, post about live chat for WordPress. And I've got a few paragraphs here that were written by a GTP3 AI. Uh, I think I used Writer to generate these. I've got a couple of paragraphs here that we can run through some detecting tools and see what happens. So first of these tools, we've got Sapling AI, AI Content Detector. I'll put links to all these tools in the description, but basically this one will say the real probability is 1.2%, fake probability is 99%. So pretty clear that that was AI generated from this tool. The next one we've got is AI Cheat Check. Um, same thing, 99% certainty that this text was written by an AI. The other one, writer.com's AI Content Detector. This one's not so great. I wouldn't recommend this one. It says 81% human generated. That is definitely not the case. That was 100% AI generated. So this is um, not doing a great job. And OpenAI itself, these are the people behind GTP. Um, they have an AI text classifier. This tool is actually not that great itself. Um, it just gives a description. It is unclear if this is AI generated. So it may or may not be according to this tool. I know for sure that this is 100% AI generated. So it's just going to give things like unclear unlikely, very unlikely. It's not going to give you a percentage like those other tools. So I actually kind of prefer a couple of those other tools than the OpenAI, um, the tool that they've given us here. 
All right, so let's take these paragraphs and let's reword them so that they can pass those detection tests. So we can use paraphrasing tools or we can manually rewrite them. I think now's a good time to talk about today's sponsor, Skillshare. They are very helpful for all content creators. So let's go through that right now. You may know Skillshare for classes in photography, film and video editing and illustration, but did you know Skillshare has hundreds of career focused classes too? The new year is the perfect time to reinvent your goals and yourself. Traditional jobs are not one size fits all. Learn how to design a career to fit you. Personally, I'm interested in developing my own skills in video marketing and personal branding. I think these will really help me grow professionally. Now I'm a Skillshare member and one of the classes I've really enjoyed is called YouTube Success, build an authentic channel that's worth the follow by Sorella Moore. Now she's a YouTuber like me. And I think the main takeaway from this class is that I need to create content that has some kind of human meaningfulness. Like I think sharing stories and examples of using technical skills to bring success, these are the ideas that will grow the channel rather than just focusing on tech tutorials all the time, filling in forms and clicking buttons, create some meaning to go along with those technical tutorials. So if you're interested in trying Skillshare, I've got a link down there in the description. The first 1000 people to use the link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So check that out if you're interested, but let's get back to our video. The first tool we're gonna to look at is Quillbot over on quillbot.com. I'll put all of these tools in the description, obviously, but you can just paste in your AI written text, hit rephrase, and it will generate a rephrased paragraph for you. So the free version will let you do 125 words to test it out, but basically um, you can go ahead, rephrase your article and um, checking it through AI cheat check. This comes up as 90% certain this was generated by a human. So basically um, it has gone from 99% AI to 90% human. So I think that's pretty solid. The next tool we got was paraphraser IO. Same thing here, um, paste in your AI text take out your paraphrase text, running that through. That is 61% certain this was generated by humans. So pretty solid, not as good as Quillbot, but still not too bad. The next tool I tested was EditPad on editpad.org. Um, paraphrasing again here and running that through the text, 90% that it was generated by humans. So this one was quite good as well. This one had a bigger um, allowance in the free version. So I think this was good. Um, and again, the result was uh, just as good as Coolbot. Paraphrasing tool.ai, same deal again, putting in your AI text, spitting out your paraphrased text there. This one is 100% certain generated by humans. So this was probably the best one, paraphrasing tool AI. Again, all these links in the description, um, quite like that one there. And pre-post SEO, um, same deal. Uh, paraphrases it out there for you 100% this was written by an AI so this one actually failed so if you're trying to use pre-post SEO avoid that one from my um, testing it hasn't done too well and finally we've got this one GTP minus one this one really adds a lot of randomness to it so um, basically it comes out 100% it was generated by a human but it does affect the readability so you'll have to go through and re-edit that again manually so although this one does work well I think um, it ruins the readability um, so badly that I probably wouldn't recommend it unless you want to manually rewrite it. You may as well just manually rewrite it in the first place. So those are all the tools I tested. All those links are down below, but um, all of these ways you can avoid getting detected by these AI detection tools at the moment. And to wrap this up, I'd recommend checking out one of my previous videos, Google's helpful content update. This is gonna help you um, much more than this video in terms of how to create a content that ranks well um, in Google's most recent update. So check that one out. I'll put that video right up at the end here. And remember to subscribe if you haven't already. I know a lot of you watch my stuff and haven't subscribed. Click subscribe, please. But um, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.